Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Remains 3 Kingdoms 10 on Mysterious JG. We are going to return to base. Our Chai Seng is being attacked by Ji Hao Yuan's troop of Cao Cao's army. Lord Zhu Ji's. Oh. Damn it, we, I thought we made peace with them. But... I never figured we couldn't trust Cao Cao. So there's Zhu Ji trying to defend against the Ji Hao Yuan. I, there's no way I can get down there and make any difference in that one. And that's probably not going to go that well for us. So there's a lot of stuff needs to be taken care of right now. <laughs> Congratulations on your successful reconciliation with Cao Cao. That's great. Chai Shang, Chai Sang, did they say? Is that one of mine or one of Sun Tzu's? No, that's one of mine. I gave them as many officers, as, as much as I could, and, uh... I don't know. They've got four units. What size city is that, I wonder? It's a large city? And it's an XL city, which makes sense. So I could move. Zhitong needs to stay defensible because it could be attacked by Hanjong. Chengdu could afford to lose quite a few troops. Six units there? There's already ten units there, and I think it's an L and not an XL. So I better lose one of these units. No. That would oh, that would give it nine. Hold on. Source Chengdu. Destination Wudu. I can actually give them a little bit more. There just really isn't much point in leaving a lot of stuff in Chengdu, because nobody can attack it now, unless another one of my cities falls. That's what I'm getting at here, folks. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll probably give it more... more of this gold. And food as well. That's going to make it a really tempting target for the bad guys. By bad guys, I mean Cao Cao, but... Who's going to be in charge of Wu Du? Zhang Hong? Or Tai Chi Tsi? Zhang Hong in charge. So I'll take a bunch of guys out of Chengdu. Hey, Shwan. Take everybody out of Chengdu. But I gotta leave a few guys there. Lord Chance, Jay Gorky, and Falter. Will all want to be in the front line city, I'm sure. So let's take a look at that city now. 
I got 8 officers, 15 units, max defense, they should be fine. Now, Tian Shui is probably where I need to move my shit to, but let's move a bunch of stuff from Zitong to Tian Shui. Who's gonna be the prefect of Tian Shui? The prefect is gonna be Taishi Tsu. I'm gonna order the transfers of a bunch of officers from Zitong. Probably use a couple more up there. They've got seven. They've got eight. Well, that might be all right. Four, three, three. Now I'll get them one more from uh, Chengdu. You can get Budugan. He's the man. And uh, transport a bunch of stuff from uh, Jitong to. Uh, Tian Shui, so that Grimmeth doesn't sneak in and take it back from me while I'm busy elsewhere. What is the unit situation there? I could have 20 units in Tian Shui, but obviously I can't give away everything that the city's got. Just most of it. Are you? Boom, 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 boom. I guess I could give them some units, because I got officers here I can use to build them back up. And I've probably got more in the way of, um... Yeah, and, and they'll have, like, wood oxes and stuff, too. It'd be great. Well, I'll give them some units that aren't quite full strength, and let them build them up up there. destination. I want, source I want to be the destination. I'm sorry. I guess I never took anything from here after all. And I'll let them build up one of their own. Uh... Is there any chance that I'd be able to get over there in time to make a difference? probably go in and try to retake the city after after we lose it. Let's try to get some reinforcements from uh, Changsha. Yeah, that's a good idea. If Changsha joins in the attack. They might actually be able to get in there in time to make a difference. And they've agreed. Okay. I might not make it in time, but the Cheng Sha reinforcements might get there. They've taken Tong Gate. That's what they were doing up there. They're not attacking Grimoth. Like I thought they were for a minute. I might make it in time. I offer assistance to Master Zhu Ji in the attack on Jia Yuan's troop at Cao Cao's army. I didn't think I'd make it in time. Now there's like three different Sun Tzu troops. I didn't think that could happen. Oh, this is nice. I'll actually be able to hold this city. I figured I would lose it. Yeah, this is going to make a pretty big difference. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, this will uh, significantly impact the battle. Um, it, well, it appeared that they had him outnumbered, um, although they were probably going to lose the battle anyway in random battle. Now we've got uh, Zhi Hao Yuan outnumbered, um, by my math, about 4 to 1. So I'm thinking we should be able to win this. And I see no reason for us to pull back and play defensive. Juji is the commander, so I can move to Dun and Mr. Person forward without fear. It's like Joe Yon's like, yes, we have the city. Ah, oh shit! <laughs> Here comes the entire army of Wu. Well, that don't seem right. Where's the luck? Joe Yuan's one of my favorite uh, way characters in Dynasty Warriors, but he doesn't have a, a really distinct personality. He's just kind of goofy. They never get into why he would be supporting Cao Cao in particular, but. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it, the way this game is going right now. I thought losing this city was going to be a blow to my morale. The idea that, oh, I was expecting to go in and stomp over Grimmeth easily. But I actually took some losses. I'm having to kind of slow up. I was hoping to take, like, several cities with one march, thanks to the wood oxen. But it wasn't really happening. And now I'm like, no. But still, I took his cities. I made the cities I took defensible. And, um... Nothing to assemble. I should be good. Juji's foot in. <sighs> it's the idea that I've got a full strength bull unit that can't assemble into a tower is just weird now. now this one, of course, could, but it's not in position. This is my personal bow unit. So I can use it to shoot at somebody from really far away. Well, because it's a tower, not because it's my personal bow unit, but you know what I mean. I assume you know what I mean. Mr. Shing Tsai, now that you're there, you might as well start killing everybody. And since I'm a bloodthirsty butcher and I want to do as much damage to Cao Cao as I can, instead of winning quickly, let's try to damage as many units as we can. Got horse bows. That's nice. Somebody else must have been busy for you to get... Uh, you're actually an officer from my city, but you're kind of my third string officer. Because <laughs> so I've got kind of a pretty elite group going in my cities. You know, tends to happen sometimes. And just collect officers that you don't want to lose, so you keep them around and end up having a really pretty badass group of core officers hanging around uh, with your main player character. And now the AI is in this mode where, it, like, anything it does is, it's a, it, it can't really take much offensive action without being at great risk, so it's kind of 
doing nothing, which is, of course, not going to win the day, but... Let's start setting G how you want on fire. Now, of course, uh, I wasn't playing as Wu in that game, but Ji Ao Yuan was uh, a major uh, pain when I was playing Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. Hey, let me go! Quan Quan has been captured. Alright. Oh, the truth is out of the flames. Oh my god. More of the same, Jinx Eye. Yes, sir! For some reason, Draconis Darkness, when his face pops up, I immediately go to that direct command. I haven't really... I don't know why. I've now I'm thinking of him as being this, like, master manipulator strategist type who doesn't sully his own hands in battle, but I don't really know what's giving me that impression. Should have tried for a duel. Oh well. You charger or duel would be fun. Mr. Person would win, but I don't think he's gonna go for it. So I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. Where is you? Come on, face me! I told you to do. No, I didn't accept. But this will finish him off anyway. I hope. There's nothing we can do except avoid a duel. So at least we're not captured. Take too many chances at Lulu and Key. I guess I'm sort of, in a way, I'm playing in character for like what I think the crazy anime daughter of Lu Bu would be. Because obviously she's not just the daughter of Lu Bu; she's his anime daughter. If this wasn't like anime, she wouldn't be allowed to lead a force. So I'm thinking of her as like a wacky anime character. Is that us? That's the main unit, and that's oh, that's a whole different officer. I defeated an officer. Nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere to hide. We've got towers all over this freaking city. Uh -huh. I love towers. Probably overusing them. But still, I just enjoy them. Oh, no, they're burning out their own city. Best strategy in the world. Okay, you're good and softened up, so somebody should be able to go in there and attempt to capture you. This is probably foolish if I get into the fire. I cannot help believe they beat me and didn't manage to capture him. Just set myself into fire. Oh well. That was good. Do some more of that. Now, I'll select a different unit. Yan Yan, the hero of uh, Liu Zhang, come in and attack instead. Mr. Person, more of that, that was cool. That didn't seem like a very wise move, Ji Hao Yuan, but okay. I'm thirsty for blood. Who's got some? Fine. I wanted to capture him, but 
I guess not. We have wiped out the enemy commander's unit. The battle is ours. This battle is ours. Sorry, I misread. Hey, Juji. First honors go to Juji. What? Second honors, Mr. Person. Third honors go to show you. First honors go to me. It's embarrassing having to praise myself. He didn't earn it. Second honors go to Mr. Person. An excellent battle. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to be first. I won't lose to Master Juji again. Not after I demote him. Thank you for your work. I ask that you will help again. Ho Chang has been captured, and he's joined Sun Tzu's army. Excellent. Now Huang Quan, who is not Huang Zhong, the Dream Master. Let's try to give him uh, a job. Hey! His loyalty was 93, but he's seen the light anyway. Now I can head back to my city with my head held high. Sun Tzu wasn't going to do anything to help defend my city, so I had to take care of it personally. I guess it's Liu Qi's fault that we're at war with Cao Cao, but it appears that while we were not hostile with him, he was still perfectly willing to attack us, so... Ooh, a lot of petitions need to be answered. Lu Ling Qi has a proposal. Please allow me to employ Master Fa Zhang. Absolutely, if you can. I want all the dudes I can. Matter of fact... Leitong... Fushi Ren... Or Zhang Ren. Nobody can hire Lei Tong. What about uh, Zhang Ren? Guan Ping. Guan Ping! What you gonna start this? Fushi Ren? He's always up for changing sides, but I guess not today. What kind of units have we already got in the city now? So it gave away a bunch of our units, of course. Our order is 100. I'm kind of surprised at that. We've got 3 foot, 5 horses, 7 bows. So I need really, to get my old strength, I would need 2 more foot and 3 more bows. That's if I want exactly what I had before. No. 2 more foot and 2 more bows, apparently. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Established units while I deliberate. Actually, it's, well, it's almost time to end the video, but I can do some deliberating first. I will not invest with this merchant. My fame decreases, even though I just got done conquering a bunch of cities, winning a bunch of battles, being a badass. My fame continues to slip. By now, I may have had dozens of comments telling me that refusing this, all these things is wrecking order in my cities, but, oh fuck, I accidentally did what they asked me to. <laughs> well, what a difference, I'm grateful, my fame rose by one and I lost ten days. This one I'm willing to try, because it will increase domestics in the city. And it's springtime, young man's thoughts turn to Vajang, yes! Oh, that's not somebody who Lu Ling Qi hired. Construction was a failure. Let's look at how everyone performed. Lu Ling Qi had 4,737 deeds. Not too shabby. My worst officer had enough to get praise. Like, if he was the only officer in the city and he had 999, I would say, hmm, looks like no one did that well, but 1,000 is enough. Mr. Lu Ling Qi, your service this year has been a central part of continued growth. Though she's not actually here to hear me say that. Currently, Li Liu Qi's army is relying on us because of our vigor and strength. Let's give everything we have for Sun Tzu. Capture of Jing Bei. You are all dismissed. Uh, oh, that's all we have left between us and capturing the district. This uh, Feng Jie city there. Oh, Grimoth has split his force into multiple districts. I didn't know that. Feng Jair has been his right-hand man for a long time. No, I'm evil man. I don't care about you or anyone. <laughs> we still got order of 100? Yeah. Yeah, my computer. 
computer still wants to go to sleep. I'm not terribly worried about the economy here because I'm getting um, every place else in my massive district that Sun Tzu is letting me rule because he refuses to do any work himself. They all send us gold. Order dropped by five in the meantime. And order dropped by another five. Luling Ki failed in her employment efforts. Let's try again, though. No. Whoever he is, he's disappeared or he's gone to work for Grimmeth or something. Master Huang Quan could probably get this guy to join us. I want Jang Ren in my force. And I will not lie, you other brothers can't deny. And you might be able to hire him, even though he's working for another officer. I think it sometimes overstates your odds of getting those guys to come work for you, to tell you the truth. Uh, oh, I should probably reward some officers. Like that guy who just joined me a minute ago and has no long-term loyalty. Oh. Yeah, I've now got like three times as many cities almost as Sun Tzu has. And his policy is developed territory, which is ridiculous at this point. You need to be fighting Sun Tzu. Let's see what happens if I offer him Chai Sang. He doesn't want to have to take care of it. I mean, if you look at it on the map, it makes so much more sense for him to be defending that than me. Because I'm over here. He is right there. Although, really, he has to take this city before he's got a nice easy path between them. But that's not my fault. That's because he's not being aggressive over there. He's developing his territory. I'm doing all the freaking work. New foot units who don't have towers or wood oxen is ridiculous. She's class two. She actually. I could set up a new district under Lu Linki if I wanted to. <laughs> I might do that in the long run. In the long run. In the long run. Xing Tsai is not quite level 2 yet, but once she gets to being level 2, she also could have her own district. It would be pretty funny. Yeah, I know you guys, so I don't really need to talk to any of you. Lord, Draconis Darkness has failed. Not that surprising. It's we have a brand new tower. It's awesome. And Draconis Darkness got back to town quickly to report his failures. That's nice. No one can perform a search. Give those guys a minute to get back from what they were doing so that we can all go out for more orders. Yay, everybody built weapons. Lots and lots of wapits. Now everybody can build wood ox. Which I haven't really used yet because... I keep taking too many losses in the first battle to be able to continue on. But the idea of the Wood Ox is that I have enough food that I don't have to worry about running out of food and having morale run out. I can just go out and attack um, and just stay out in the field attacking my enemies until um, I'm tired of it or just get all my troops killed. I've got a great plan for screwing you over and wasting your turns. But if you look at the map, uh, districts... Mm -hmm. 
the districts for um, She Grimmeth make sense now. They're divided up geographically because his uh, since his empire no longer is actually continuous, <laughs> he's kind of broken it up into East Grimmeth Land and West Grimmeth Land. And like Sun Tzu, he's lazy and has given one of his subordinates a larger district to rule than he has. So that's uh, interesting. Lord Huang Kuang has failed. Okay, not that surprising, unfortunately. Lord Cheng Yangying has failed. Okay. Summer. Alright. Warrior, yes. I was hoping that you would appear, so I said warrior, and it seems to have worked. Getting two warriors in a row is just too much to ask for. Alright, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, <coughs> we're back into a peaceful domestic mode. I only took, like, uh, two of Grimmeth's cities, but um, he's only got five left, so... I should have time to, in relative peace and security, build my forces back up. Now that I know that I've actually got enough time from Jiang Zhou to reach uh, the cities of mine that Cao Cao would be attacking, I feel pretty confident that I can pretty much uh, not worry about losing territory. So I think I've got time to actually sit back and build up, and I hope you guys don't mind if I do that. Anyway, this has been Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, when we come back, it might take uh, a video's worth of messing around with domestic stuff, so hopefully you won't be too bored in the next video. But um, the plan is definitely to take out Grimmeth next. Uh, I'm thinking Yuan Shao and possibly the Gongzuns are going to fall before I can get to Cao Cao. It looks like it's going to be me versus Cao Cao, mano a mano, pretty soon. But um, we'll see, folks, in the next video. And I also need to consider going up and personally chatting with Grimmeth's officers, becoming friends with a lot of them, so that I can actually, um, you know, get them to join me once we conquer their, their lord. Uh, but we'll see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.